Hello, all my Capricorn friends. This is Maxine Taylor with your October forecast um, and some information that some of you have been waiting on for a while now. <clears throat> First of all, so many of you have asked me about my astrology classes. Yes, I am offering a whole new series. Um, I offer a course uh, that includes beginning, intermediate, and advanced um, astrology. At the end of those nine months, um, you will not only love you, but you'll be ready to hang out your sh uh, your shingle, uh, which I think is going to be a cause for great celebration. So if you're interested, you should, there should be information on my website, MaxineTaylor.com. If there's not, just um, go to my website, MaxineTaylor.com, and ask me to please um, contact you about um, class information. Now, the other thing, I'm, uh, two more things. I have resurrected my mentoring astrology mentoring program, which means that it's, if you want a class, of course, if you want a face-to-face -face with me on a regular basis, um, that's the mentoring program. Once again, contact me. I will uh, give you all the information. It just was too much to put on the website right now. So anyhow, I am here, and I'll be glad to answer your questions. Now, the biggest thing that has come down the pike is this Secrets from the Womb book, which I wrote, uh, which I did not write, God wrote. It was passed along to me. And several people have said, that really speaks to me. I want to learn how to do it. Um, and do it as part of a career. And so if you are interested in that, once again, go to my website, MaxineTaylor.com. Um, shoot me an email and send me your contact information so I can explain it to you. Um, this is the time to get it in on the ground floor. If you have not yet done the three steps um, that comes first and then the um, observation of uh, w watching me carry somebody through this I, I'm so thrilled with the response um, and so this is an introductory offer just any question you've got, you've got my email um, you, on my website. You can just click it, send it to me, and we will talk. All righty? Okay. Now, Capricorn. I love it. I love it. Okay. First of all, Jupiter is getting ready to go retrograde. Um, Jupiter is the greater benefic. It rules our principles, our concepts, our beliefs. Um, it rules money. It rules uh, a vision, higher education, interaction with people from afar. And every time I see that, because it, it rules the ninth house, I'm thinking people from afar uh, traveling long distances, we are already doing space flight. This planetary space flight. This is so exciting to me. So we're definitely on the move and on the way. All right. Let's go over here. I was talking about Jupiter. Jupiter is in your sixth house of work health, and service. Um, it is not even expressing itself as magnificently as it will in a few months when it goes direct. 
And I'll let you know when that is. This will expand your work. Uh, it will be a work you believe in and probably have fun with too. That's awesome. Now, in your seventh house of relationships, we got Mars. And Mars comes first to, I mean, to you. <laughs> Mars says, I come first. Get that. This says that you are throwing yourself into your relationships with other people, but there may be an anger involved um, or an impatience. Mars wants it yesterday. You will attract people to you who put themselves first. And that works well because you're putting them first. You're both putting the, uh, them first. And it works for you. It will be there all month. Now, moving forward, the yellow planet is the sun. And that is the center of our universe. It's... um the creative energy. It has been in your 10th house of career for some time now. And this helps you deal with people in authority as well as be an authority. Okay. On the 22nd, the sun moves into your 11th house of the humanitarian. Um, and it will bring out your humanitarian qualities um, and interests. It's quite nice. The 11th house helps you see that what is best for the group is best for the individuals within the group. And so the center of your life has been your career. And after the 22nd, it will be being a leader of other people, not a career move necessarily, but a humanitarian move, a philanthropic move. And you will be in a position of being in charge. Mercury, what we think about and talk about, is also in your first house. And so you've been thinking about, you know, what do I want to be when I grow up, that type of thing. Um on the 13th, Mercury joins uh, Venus uh, and wait, is waiting for the sun to catch up. And it's what you think about and talk about. So you'll be dealing with groups of all different types, perhaps, or just one group um, that you uh, devote your time to. Venus is love, and that's the lesser benefic, and there is nothing less about Venus. It's beautiful. Venus in the seventh house loves people. Um, it is the philanthropist. It is the humanitarian in you that is awakened. On the 17th, Venus moves into your 12th house of it's nobody's business. It's behind the scenes activities and you need your solitude and privacy. And you will love it, which is really beautiful. Okay, let's see what else. Oh, the new moon is on October 2nd. It's not just, and on the new moon, things start moving forward. But it's not just a new moon. It is an eclipse, a solar eclipse. And so this really starts the movement forward in your career. It's on October 2nd in 10 degrees of Libra. Two weeks after that, we have a full moon and that's when everything comes to a head. That activ activates your fourth house of home, family, real estate, that type of thing. It is on October 17th in 24 degrees of Aries. So your career, your public image, and your home, both activated. Um, if you're in real estate, you can tie up both of them with a bow. So till we meet again next month, I hope may the stars shine brightly on you and yours.
Bye for now.